I was just over at Sofic about a week ago and I had a chance to talk to Chris Salzer, uh, the owner and founder of, of Juggernaut uh, Case. And uh, he hooked me up with this, this awesome nav board, which I told him I'm gonna be using for land nav. So we're gonna get into this shortly. Typically I carry my Sunto compass, which has been my trusted compass for uh, as far as I can remember. And <clears throat> this would typically go inside the main pouch of my Hill People Gear kit bag, along with my map. Um, the other thing I typically carry is my either my Garmin Forerunner 301, which is more of a kind of a um, a fitness device tracks your heart rate, calories, and things like that. That's primarily what I use it for rather than navigation, although it does also have a navigation, simple navigating uh, functionality to it. If I'm using primarily something for navigating, uh, trackbacks, and certain things, I would typically bring my Garmin uh, 4Trex 401 and in the past, I've had that in a pouch mounted to my shoulder strap, either the shoulder strap of my pack or the shoulder strap of my uh, kit bag. So the nav board is originally designed for military freefall operations to allow the jumper to be able to navigate towards their specific area, even at night and to be able to monitor their glide slope at the same time as keep their bearings uh, while under canopy. For my purposes, however, I'm going to be using the nav board for land navigation and as an organizer to keep my compass and my GPS device all in one place. So by using the nav board, I've now eliminated the compass that's um, in my kit bag, making enough, making more room inside the bag itself for other things. And then with my Garmin, instead of having it on the shoulder strap, I can now have it here at my fingertips and readily accessible when I need it. This light not only acts as a way to be able to read your compass when navigating at night, but it also charges the luminescence um, inside the compass. You would attach it to the PALS mount, just like so. And again, your phone would be your phone would be sitting sitting in here. You can run it without without your phone in there, just as a nav board. So while you're hiking, if you want to check your bearings or whatever your um, Garmin is uh, keeping track of, you can operate everything this way. If you want to check your, your compass bearings, you can easily do so just like that. And if you're using your phone at the same time, you could flip it down and basically check your ATAX on your phone, as well as run your compass and your, um, your Garmin. However, uh, the Garmin does have its own compass, so you don't really necessarily need the compass, but I like to bring a compass because as with any electronics, batteries can die, um, electronics can malfunction, and it's always good to have a, an analog backup in my mind. Uh, the nav board also comes with this push button pen light that allows you to um, operate your look at your compass even at night. And then when you're done, you would just return your return it back into the stowed position. So that works quite well. Um, essentially, what it will look like when it's mounted to the the setup that I have here, uh, I've got my pals mount attached to my impact case and this 
knob here adjusts the tension for your nav board. So I can use the nav board by itself, check the compass, pull out my map, check my bearings. Um, I also have access to my compass right here. So hands-free, if I'm hiking or walking or whatever, I can just keep uh, this glance down and check out uh, the various things on my, my board. I hope you found this video somewhat useful and informative and uh, gave you a closer look at the nav board, the Halo L uh, nav board from Juggernaut Case. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, put it in the comment section below. I will put the link for Juggernaut's um, website in the description section below. Again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit that like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you outside.